Welcome to our Salesforce Service Analytics video tutorial. In this video, we'll explore the Service Analytics app and dashboards. We will also show you how to set the right permissions, schedule data flows, and review best practices. Let's get started. Let's start with an overview of the Service Analytics app. The Service Analytics app provides a centralized hub for all your service data and analytics. It's a powerful tool for gaining insights into your customer service operations. Before creating a Service Analytics app, let's take a look at the four components that make up Service Analytics. App. An app is referred to as the dynamic folder that contains the group of data sets, lenses, and dashboards that can be shared with users, templates, or dashboards. Service Analytics offers a variety of templates designed for specific service metrics and goals. These templates come with pre-built dashboards that you can use or customize to fit your organization's needs. Datasets. To populate your dashboards with data, you'll need datasets. Datasets are collections of data from your Salesforce records. The Service Analytics app includes pre-built dashboards and datasets to accelerate data exploration for both service managers and agents. Lens. A lens is a view into a dataset used to get insight to a specific business question. The lens can be saved and shared independently. It can also be clipped to a dashboard. Now we are going to demo enabling the app. Please have your org or demo org pulled up so you can follow along. The following instructions apply only to customers with the Service Analytics license. This is only one of the permission sets you could have. Permission sets could also be CRMA Growth, CRMA Plus, or Revenue Intelligence. Customers who are set up to use CRM Analytics Growth licenses have the required user permissions to access Service Analytics. First, we need to assign permission sets. The permission sets you see in your org will vary depending on the license you have to access CRM Analytics, such as CRM Analytics Admin or User, Revenue Intelligence Admin or User, or Service Analytics Admin or User. We are going to select the gear icon in the top right corner to get to Setup. In Salesforce Setup, enter Users in the Quick Find field. Click Permission Sets. Scroll through the list of permission sets until you see the admin permission set associated with your license. Assign the analytics admin permission set for users who require administrator level access to service analytics, however only assigned to users who will manage the app or serve as the admin. This permission set lets users administer service analytics, which lets them create, edit, and delete the app. Click the Analytics Admin Permission Set. Click Manage Assignments, then Add Assignments. Check the boxes next to the names of the users who require administrator-level access to the app. Click Assign, then click Done. The selected users can now create and manage Service Analytics. To assign user-level access to Service Analytics, assign the Analytics User Permission Set. Click the Analytics User. Click Manage Assignments, then Add Assignments. Check the boxes next to the names of the users who require access to the app. Click Assign, then click Done. The selected users can now use Service Analytics. Now we need to check the integration user field level security. Integration users run the data flow, and if they don't have proper field level security permissions, the data flow can fail. Select Profiles under Users on the left-hand pane. Then select Analytics Cloud Integration User Profile, then Object Security. Once you are here, you just select the object you want to and check the field level security. Now we are going to enable Analytics. Enter Analytics in the Quick Find Search field, then click Getting Started. Click Enable Analytics. Assign the Service Analytics Admin Permission Set for users who require administrator level access to Service Analytics however only assigned to users who will manage the app or serve as the admin. This permission set lets users administer service analytics, which lets them create, edit, and delete the app. Set field level security to enable the CRM analytics integration user to see all fields you'd like your app to use. Integration users run the data flow, and if they don't have proper field level security permissions, the data flow can fail. Now that we have the correct users assigned, we can go ahead and follow the steps to create the Service Analytics app. 
On this screen, select Launch CRM Analytics in upper right corner. Then select Create in the upper right corner and select App. Then we can scroll and find the Service Analytics app, which we will select and hit Continue, then Continue again. When you start the app creation process, Service Analytics opens the configuration wizard. The wizard guides you through the following steps. Now we will walk customers through the configuration wizard, including using the wizard to update or reconfigure the app. At the start of app creation, Service Analytics scans your org. It checks to make sure you can create the app and looks for features and data to add to your app. The results let you know if you have to add data or change Salesforce settings to create the app. It also lets you know about available features. The app will ask you to choose between basic and custom create options. Basic is intended for first-time app users, while custom lets experienced administrators fine-tune app setup. We recommend custom options as this will allow end users to customize the app with their custom fields on standard service objects. But for today, we are going to select the basic app creation option, which is typically used when you create service analytics for the first time or when you want to create the app quickly. If you choose custom, the wizard guides you through the steps to fine tune your app where you can add features to your app by answering a series of questions about how you use data in your org. Answer the question you've seen on your screen by clicking Select Field, select your field to answer the question, then click Next. Once you have named your app, it will begin creation. The next step is to schedule a daily app refresh to ensure that Service Analytics uses up-to-date data. When you create Service Analytics, the creation process includes a data flow that imports the latest services cloud data to CRM Analytics. Before scheduling the app to refresh, ensure Data Sync is scheduled first. To do this, we will navigate to the Analytics Studio homepage and select Data Manager on the left-hand pane. Once we are in Data Manager, we will select Connections from our pane. Then we will select the drop-down next to SFDC Local and click on Schedule. Pick the days you want and set a time for refreshing your data sync. It's best to select a time outside normal working hours for the data to refresh. You can also manually trigger the data sync by selecting the drop-down next to SFDC Local and selecting Run Now to schedule data flow. Schedule the app to refresh daily to ensure that your app uses up-to-date Salesforce data by navigating to Setup through the gear icon in the upper right corner. In the Quick Find box, enter App Install History and then select App Install History. Find your app in the list of installed apps. Click the drop-down arrow in the Analytics Data Manager to the far right of the app. From the menu that appears, select Schedule. Pick the days you want and set a time for refreshing the app data. It's best to select a time outside normal working hours for the data to refresh. Our app is now scheduled for refresh. Now that we have our app created, it's time to share it with service or sales managers. Open your app if it's not already open. If you've navigated away from CRM Analytics Studio, go back to it either from your browser tabs or through App Launcher. Select all items, find your app, and click it. Next, click the share icon to the upper right corner. In the next screen, use the search field under Invite Others to find other users, roles, and groups in your org. Select whether you want to make the selected user a viewer who is able to view dashboard, lenses, and data set in the app. Editor can do everything but change the app's sharing settings, rename or delete the app. Manager, which has full access and control of the app. Click Add and then click Save. Now let's take a look at some dashboards by selecting Dashboards in the upper left. The Select Service Analytics Overview. You can embed this dashboard in your home page or Service Analytics related tabs by creating a Visual Force page or Editing Page layout. And there you have it. You now get everything you need in one place to uncover key data insights to help you grow your business. Before we conclude, it's essential to be aware of a few Service Analytics limitations when creating and sharing the Service Analytics app. Service Analytics supports standard and custom fields on standard Salesforce objects. The fields provided are determined by the answers you provide when you create the app using the built-in configuration wizard, which is only possible through the Custom Create option. Service Analytics limits custom objects support 
to no more than 10 custom objects for each org that implements service analytics, only with the service analytics license. The app doesn't support multi-hierarchy, team, and manager when you create it. You can manually add that functionality. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Salesforce Service Analytics. With the right templates, dashboards, data sets, and setup, you can transform your service operations and make data-driven decisions. For more detailed information and comprehensive documentation, please visit us at help.salesforce.com or join the vibrant Salesforce Trailblazer community at trailblazer.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.